I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 311, where I'm going to show you how to label the last values in a chart using an expression. This is in response to a model sent in to me by Ernesto. Ernesto is building a COVID-19 model in Panama, and he had a question about how to label this chart. You can see that this chart has labels on every day for every metric, and what he would like to do is he would only like to see the most recent day with its values listed. So how do you do this in Quantrix? Well, in order to do this, I would first go ahead and I would click value, and then I would click on a chart or expression rather inside the format toolbox under chart labels. I'd make this a little bit bigger and I would go ahead and think about this logically. I want to select the last non-zero value in my list here. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to say select S. And I want to select across my cases, or quesos if you speak Spanish, quesos across my days. This is another, this X item access is another way to look at uh, rows, if you will. So I'm going across all these rows. I want to select across the days. I want to bring back those values. And I want to look at those days where the values are greater than double quote greater than zero. So if I go ahead and I do that, and then I show my expression here, you can see that I'm, I'm bringing back eight. If I were to look in my list, I think that's the first value I would see at the top is eight, started out with eight cases. Okay, well I wanna bring back the last one, so anytime I say that and I think about it logically, I'm going to then wrap it in last. So if I go ahead and do that, then you'll see that I have 989 thing is, is I only want to bring back 989 and the very last one. How do I do that? I would go back up here and I would write an if statement. I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger so we can see it and I have to do that every time, which is uh, something I wish they would improve. But I'm going to say out here, if the last that I select or if the value that I'm on, quesos dias that I'm on, if it is equal to the last one here, then I want it to do something. I want it to bring back the quesos dias, okay? Otherwise, you know what I want it to do? I want it to bring back a blank. If I go ahead and I click OK, then you can see that indeed I have 989. Thing is, I have gotten that far, but I don't want to see anything with fatalities. I actually want to see the fatality number, number, which would be 24 here instead of the 989. And of course, I don't want to see the 24 up here because that would be misleading. So again, I got to make this big. So I would go up here and I would write a case statement and I would say case, my legend items or Qantas, I would say at Qantas because I'm referencing the item itself. Qantas, if it is equal to quesos, then go ahead and do this. Otherwise, I'm going to say, let me try to get to the next line. Otherwise, I'm going to say, give me a blank. Okay. I go ahead and I click OK. Now you can see that I have 989. I have nothing here. So I need to add to my case statement now for my fatalities. And I got to make this big. And in order to do that, this was the otherwise statement or the defeat, default value in the case. I'm going to say, I'm going to write this again, and I'm going to say, well, if it's if it's not that, then it must be fatalities. And I'm going to change this from cases to fatalities here. And I'm going to change this to fatalities. And I'm going to change this to fatalities. And this one also to fatalities, because that's the item I'm now considering. And if if the fatalities is like that, then go ahead and bring back my fatalities. Otherwise, don't bring me back anything. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK and hope my magic happens. And indeed it did. So now I have 989 for my total cases and 24 for my fatalities. And how I did that, in the words of Ernesto, uh, my friend Ernesto, who's asking me this question, for which I'm grateful, he said, wow, you pulled out all of the Quantrix weaponry. To answer this question, I have a case, if, last, select S. I would say that's how you do it. 
in Quantrix to bring back the label of the last value on a chart. And you know what? It makes my day to do that sort of thing in Quantrix and to answer someone's question and help them on their way in this awesome tool. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com because I absolutely love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by... QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.